Hi, this is Chris Sherrill with Everyday VBA, and in this video we're going to be looking at the VBA Runtime Air number 9. Uh, usually it says Subscript Out of Range. So you'll notice I've got my VBA window open. You can get there by hitting Alt F11. So, this error basically happens for two different reasons. It happens for collections and it happens for arrays. Now, a collection is uh, the most common are sheets and workbooks. Um, I thought that shapes may be one, and that actually gave a different error, and actually an error I've never seen, which is quite a, quite entertaining. Um, I'm going to just step through this these this macro. I hit F8. It's going to run it one line at a time. Now you'll notice that if you look here, I'm asking for sheets number three, index number three, which means that I would need be looking for the third worksheet. Now there isn't third, there isn't three worksheets. There's only one. So when I click this, I'm going to get the subscript out of range. I'm going to get the runtime error number nine. So that gives me that error. Now if I was to click and add three sheets and I was to run it, it would actually select whatever my third sheet is from the left, uh, counting from the left to the right. So if I go back up, I've moved, you'll notice I've moved sheet one over. When I run that, when I run this code with F8, it's going to select the third sheet. All right. So the same is true for workbooks. So if I had three workbooks open, I actually don't. I've got just book one is open. So I'm going to get the same runtime. So those are two collections. So what I thought was, is I was trying to think of all the collections in uh, VBA in Excel, and I was like, well, maybe shapes will work. So I put in shapes. Hold on, I ran that error again. Tried shapes. Now what shapes are is it selects the shape, right? You'll notice that, that I only have one shape, which can be, which is typically an image or a button. So what I was, what I tried to do is just force an error, and it gave me this error, which I've never seen before, but apparently that error means I'm out of bounds, which is pretty exciting. So I uh, just thought I'd share that as well. The other reason this happens is if you are, I'm going to comment this out, if you are using arrays. Now, array is, is a variable that will hold multiple items. So, for example, um, in this array down here, we will hold up to eight different items. The easiest way to see it is actually uh, down in your locals window. But when I run this, I say I want to declare my array as an integer. When I hit F8, it's going to give me that subscript error because it doesn't know uh, what the index is or what location within that array to store it. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to redim it. And you'll notice that I put 1 to 8, which means that I've got from 1 all the way down to 8. And when I hit F8 here, it's actually going to populate this 234 into this last spot. And we're good. Now, if you if I set this up correctly, I would just have to go, I would do 1, 2, 8 in there. It's going to give me an error because you can't redim a uh, an array once it's been done like that. You can only dim it once. So I'm going to hit F8. Um, You'll notice that, comment that out, F8. And the only reason I'm showing this is because it's kind of useful when it comes to arrays. So I hit that. I have no error. It puts it right in the right spot. So that's a quick rundown on the VBA runtime error number nine. Hope this is helpful and hope you enjoyed.